There are no extant representations of the Buddha represented in artistic form until roughly the 2nd century CE, partly due to the prominence of Anakinism in the earliest extant period of Buddhist devotional statuary and bas reliefs. A number of early discourses describe the appearance of the Buddha, and are believed to have served as a model for early depictions. In particular, the 32 signs of a great man are described throughout the Pali Canon, and these are believed to have formed the basis for early representations of the Buddha. These 32 major characteristics are also supplemented by another 80 secondary characteristics Pali, Anubhyanjana. In Mahayana Buddhism, including the traditions of esoteric Buddhism, the 32 major characteristics and 80 minor characteristics are understood to be present in a Buddha's Sambhogakaya, or reward body. In contrast, a Buddha's physical form is understood to be a nirmanakaya, or transformation body. Topic early history The earliest phase of Buddhism was generally an iconic, with the Buddha being represented as symbols such as a footprint, an empty chair, a riderless horse, or an umbrella. Later, iconic sculptural traditions were established, with two of the most important being in the regions of Gandhara and Mathura. The first statues and busts of the Buddha were made in the Gandhara region of modern day Pakistan and Afghanistan. Many statues and busts exist where the Buddha and other bodhisattvas have a mustache. In the Pali Canon a paragraph appears many times recording the Buddha describing how he began his quest for enlightenment, saying, So, at a later time, while still young, a black-haired young man endowed with the blessings of youth in the first stage of life, and while my parents, unwilling, were crying with tears streaming down their faces, I shaved off my hair and beard, put on the ochre robe and went forth from the home life into homelessness. After examining the cult of the Buddha image in India, Gregory Chopin concludes that followers of Mahayana at this time played little to no role in introducing statuary and other physical depictions of the Buddha. Mahayana sutras from this period such as the Maitreyasimhanata Sutra, only address the image cult as an object of criticism, if it is mentioned at all. Chopin states that followers of Mahayana were generally uninterested in worshipping Buddhas, but rather in becoming Buddhas, and their outlook toward Buddhist practice was profoundly conservative. The 32 signs of a great man The Buddha is traditionally regarded as having the 32 characteristics of a great man these 32 characteristics are also regarded as being present in Kakravartan kings as well, the Diga Nikaya, in the Discourse of the Marks. Pali, Lakana Sutta DN30 enumerates and explains the 32 characteristics. These are also enumerated in the Brahmayu Sutta of the Majjhima Nikaya MN91. The 32 major characteristics are Level feet Thousand-spoked wheel sign on feet Long, slender fingers Pliant hands and feet Toes and fingers finely webbed Full-sized heels Arched insteps Thighs like a royal stag Hands reaching below the knees Well-retracted male organ Height and stretch of arms equal Every hair root dark colored Body hair graceful and curly Golden-hued body Ten-foot aura around him Soft, smooth skin Soles, palms, shoulders, and crown of head well rounded Area below armpits well filled Lion shaped body Body erect and upright Full, round shoulders Forty teeth Teeth white, even, and close Four canine teeth pure white Jaw like a lion Saliva that improves the taste of all food Tongue long and broad Voice deep and resonant Eyes deep blue Eyelashes like a royal bull White urna curl that emits light between eyebrows Fleshy protuberance on the crown of the head The 80 secondary characteristics The 80 minor characteristics of the Buddha are known to be enumerated a number of times in the extant agamas of the Chinese Buddhist canon. According to Guang Xing, the 80 minor marks are related to the 32 major marks, and are merely a more detailed description of the Buddha's bodily features. 
In the Sarvastivadin Abhidharma Mahavabhasa Sastra, the question is posed about the relationship between the major and minor marks, and it is said that the minor marks are among the major marks, but not mixed with them, just as flowers in the forest make the trees distinctive. These 80 minor characteristics became significant as well, as were adopted by Buddhist traditions including both Mahayana and Theravada traditions. In Pali literature, the 80 minor characteristics are found in the Apadana and the Melindapanya. Some scholars believe the 80 minor characteristics were an early development in the Buddhist tradition, but held as important mostly by the Sarvastivada school. The 80 minor characteristics are He has beautiful fingers and toes. He has well proportioned fingers and toes. He has tube shaped fingers and toes. His fingernails and toenails have a rosy tint. His fingernails and toenails are slightly upturned at the tip. His fingernails and toenails are smooth and rounded without ridges. His ankles and wrists are rounded and undented. His feet are of equal length. He has a beautiful gait, like that of a king elephant. He has a stately gait, like that of a king lion. He has a beautiful gait, like that of a swan. He has a majestic gait, like that of a royal ox. His right foot leads when walking. His knees have no protruding kneecaps. He has the demeanor of a great man. His navel is without blemish. He has a deep-shaped abdomen. He has clockwise marks on the abdomen. His thighs are rounded like banana sheaves. His two arms are shaped like an elephant's trunk. The lines on the palms of his hands have a rosy tint. His skin is thick or thin as it should be. His skin is unwrinkled. His body is spotless and without lumps. His body is unblemished above and below. His body is absolutely free of impurities. He has the strength of 1,000 crore elephants or 100,000 crore men. He has a protruding nose. His nose is well proportioned. His upper and lower lips are equal in size and have a rosy tint. His teeth are unblemished and with no plaque. His teeth are long like polished conches. His teeth are smooth and without ridges. His five sense organs are unblemished. His four canine teeth are crystal and rounded. His face is long and beautiful. His cheeks are radiant. The lines on his palms are deep. The lines on his palms are long. The lines on his palms are straight. The lines on his palms have a rosy tint. His body emanates a halo of light extending around him for two meters. His cheek cavities are fully rounded and smooth. His eyelids are well proportioned. The five nerves of his eyes are unblemished. The tips of his bodily hair are neither curved nor bent. He has a rounded tongue. His tongue is soft and has a rosy tint. His ears are long like lotus petals. His ear holes are beautifully rounded. His sinews and tendons don't stick out. His sinews and tendons are deeply embedded in the flesh. His top knot is like a crown. His forehead is well proportioned in length and breadth. His forehead is rounded and beautiful. His eyebrows are arched like a bow. The hair of his eyebrows is fine. The hair of his eyebrows lies flat. He has large brows. His brows reach the outward corner of his eyes. His skin is fine throughout his body. His whole body has abundant signs of good fortune. His body is always radiant. His body is always refreshed like a lotus flower. His body is exquisitely sensitive to touch. His body has the scent of sandalwood. His body hair is consistent in length. He has fine bodily hair. His breath is always fine. His mouth always has a beautiful smile. His mouth has the scent of a lotus flower. His hair has the color of a dark shadow. His hair is strongly scented. His hair has the scent of a white lotus. He has curled hair. His hair does not turn gray. He has fine hair. His hair is untangled. His hair has long curls. He has a topknot as if crowned with a royal flower garland. Causal relations of the 32 signs of perfection of the Tathagata 
The Mahayana Mahaparinirvana Sutra expounds the causal relations of the 32 signs of perfection of the Tathagata. These causal relations are cultivated by followers of Mahayana Buddhism on their path to Buddhahood. Lion's Roar said, O world honored one, why are there the retrogressing and the non retrogressing bodhisattvas? O good man, when the Bodhisattva Mahasattva practices such 32 kinds of causal relations, he gains a mind that will not retrogress from the mind that seeks bodhi. The table below summarizes the causal relations from which each of the 32 signs come about. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Alternate depictions. Some have noted that in at least two discourses in the Pali Canon, the Buddha may be interpreted as being bald as if his head were shaven. Topic: <inaudible> See also Buddhist art Halo religious iconography History of Buddhism